Hello, Keith again. I'm going to talk about the so what and why it is so important that you have an answer to this question. So what is the so what? What this is asking you to do by asking yourself so what is can you tell me why your research is interesting? why it is novel or new, how it contradicts what's been done before or maybe builds on what's been done before. And if you can't answer these questions, no one is going to be interested or read your research. So to put it in another way, a, a common mistake that researchers make is they say the answer to so what is I have done two, three years worth of research on this. I have got thousands of data points, maybe even millions of data points. I've done a load of work, I've spent a load of time doing it, and then I've taken all of that, and I've put it in tables, and I've plotted it out, and that is my so what. But that's not enough. No one cares that you have done a lot of work. You have to show why the work was worthwhile, why it is interesting. And you have to do this at various points throughout the research paper. So let's just break down the various sections of a research paper and see where these so what's come in. So starting with the abstract, the abstract, most of it is actually one big so what. You'll say roughly what you've done in your research, where you've done it, how you've done it, but the key point of an abstract is why is this interesting? What is new? Why should I care? So it's really critical. You have to be able to answer this question and if you can't answer it in the abstract, you're going to really struggle to get your paper published in a high impact journal. So you will also maybe have to do highlights and the highlights are usually a series of points answering the question so what. So the next place you're going to have a so what is in the discussion. Now the discussion is really a series of you saying what your data is and then saying so what? Answering the question, so what? Now, so in your uh, discussion you will be saying how stuff compares quite often. This study was done before, this study agrees with it. You know, a study was done before, this study agrees with it. That's okay, but you need more than that um, for your abstract or for your main points of your discussion. It's okay to have a few of those. But what you're trying to do is say, what is new about this? You know, this uh, measurement has never shown this result before. It's a new thing. This measurement contradicts everything that's ever been done before, or some things that have been done before. That's your so what. That is why it's interesting. Okay? And then your conclusion is another so what. But quite often it is, so what does this mean about research in the future? Or so what does this mean about our global understanding or regional understanding of what is going on? And lastly, you're also going to have to put uh, the answer to the question, so what, in any letter that you send to the editor when you're submitting the article. It doesn't have to be long, two or three lines, but you have to convince them that the article is worth sending out to reviewers and therefore worth publishing in their journal. If you can't answer that question, so what, you do not stand a chance of getting into a high impact journal. So let's take a hypothetical example, an illustrative example that uh, shows how we use this thinking about the so what to improve our academic writing. 
Now, this study does not exist. I'm completely making this up. Okay. So let's pretend I've been to Malaysia. I've never been to Malaysia. I'm sure it's very nice. Now I know in Malaysia, in Penang province, there's a lake called Barra Lake. Now, say I did a study for a year and I measured various parameters in the lake. I measured uh, various nutrients and I measured temperature. I could have measured loads and loads of different things. Now, after a year, I have all my results, loads of lovely data points. And my study shows that in that year, the nutrients in that lake increased 10 times. They were 10 times higher at the end of the study period than at the start. Now, I'm writing my paper, so this is the abstract. Uh, I conducted a study in Barra Lake in Malaysia. Um, during this time, the nutrients increased 10 times their initial value. Uh, they've increased a lot, and this is therefore really important. Now, nothing there has answered the question, so what? I've said it's important, but I haven't said why. So when you're writing, you have to think this, so what? So the, this is what I'd write. I've been to, uh, you know, I've done my study in Barra Lake in Penang province in Malaysia. During this time, the nutrients increased tenfold. And as a result of this, there is a significantly increased chance of harmful algal blooms, which would kill the local biodiversity in this economically and ecologically important region. So that's what you have to do. You have to look at it and you have to get out the so what. Or you could say, this is the first time this order of magnitude of increase has ever been shown in Asia. And now you're interested because you're showing why it's novel, why it's new. So hopefully that gives you an example of how you should be thinking about writing like this. Now, something else to bear in mind as well is just thinking about uh, moving on from research uh, paper writing to developing research projects. So I've been to Barra Lake and I've done this study. Now there's another lake nearby called Sungai Tasik, um, uh, Sungai Lake which I also haven't been to. Now, here is the danger. I've got my study about Barra Lake published because it was super interesting. It showed something really new, showed something novel, may have contradicted what happened before. Now, all of a sudden, I'm very skilled in doing these measurements in lakes. And I think to myself, okay, what will I do next in my research? Now, the, the the, tri the trap is that you think, I've done it well in one place, now I will simply take those techniques that I've spent a long time learning and do it somewhere else. That's probably, almost ex that's probably exactly the same. You've got to really be careful that you don't think that way. You need to think, what is the new so what that I can get out of this other study? If it's simply repeating what a previous study has done, you are far less likely to find something interesting and you are far less likely to get it published. Because if you think about it, when you're reading research papers, there's the original study that's highly cited and then there's lots of other studies which use something similar. The study that you will probably cite and find most interesting is the original study. So you're not going to cite this other study because it's just not as interesting. It's not novel. And the problem is as well, because it's not as novel, you are going to find it very hard to get it into a high impact journal. Well, I mean, if you're not saying anything new, you are not going to get it into a high impact journal. So. Think about the so what's, so what is new when you're trying to come up with another research project instead of just thinking, I am competent in what I can do and I want to keep on doing it. So hopefully you found this useful. 
about the so what, and you will bear it in mind when you're thinking about your research writing and just research projects in general. If you have anything else you'd like me to talk about, please leave a suggestion in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to help you. Thank you for your time.